kind of fear in a way. I, I, the, the, the crystallization, the, the, the focus it gave me, and this sort of like, under, like suddenly, like you, you know what's important when you're facing that, and it's you don't even have to think about it. All of a sudden, you realize it's always been there in front of you. But um, so I started doing this work because I had fallen in love with them, these small pieces, and. Um, you know, and it, was, it wasn't about careerism, it was just about the work. I was doing the work for myself. And, uh, and I no longer thought of these, these like, unknown artists as like, unlucky souls that you know, came to Manhattan and died. I thought, these are, these are my compatriots, these are, uh, these are my, my kinfolk. I, you know, they were the true believers. You know, they, they did the work. And they weren't getting the, the success, and they weren't getting the, you know, they were doing it anyway, and they kept doing it, and there's, you know, tons of them. Um, of course, the, you know, the health scare turned out to be uh, a scare, and so, you know, I'm not in that position. And so, you know, uh, I, I, you know now I'm, I still want to promote my work and, and get some kind of recognition, of course, but, um, but the, the, the lesson, I learned uh, is something you know it, it, it hasn't fallen away. So you know, um, and and that lesson is that the work is what matters, uh, and doing the work and giving it the the, the brutal honesty that it deserves. Um, not letting like I, I, have, I have a thing where I have paintings some you know they, I just keep scraping them down until I'm happy with them. And I don't let a bad painting out of my studio. Or what I consider that. Um, so when I, when I started doing these, these black pieces, um, I decided to hold on tight to the black because I, I can get very distracted and I can, I can fall into like a whole other universe without, uh, without much uh, thought and then I'm, I'm like back to being lost again. So, it's, so I, I give myself this parameter and so I'm going to stay with it. And uh, like any any good math or science art, can you know if you if you stick with it within a parameter, um, it can be uh, uh, it benefited me greatly by doing this. This is this is the first large piece of it. This is about five and a half by four. And most of the other ones are fairly small. Um, school visitor. Uh, I found by not letting myself stray from the these parameters that I gave myself, it was, it was like the parameter was a rabbit hole. Once you're in the rabbit hole, there's this whole other universe of choice and, and, and the, the limits within that, those parameters are actually almost wider than they are without the parameters. Uh, through the lens of the mind, this is all the text news, I'm sorry. So, you know, as a result of basically finding this parameter and, and you know, these other experiences, I'm actually, the, the work I'm doing now, I've, I've never been more excited to be an artist to, uh, and to do the work I'm doing. Um, this one's called Surf Music, it's about 24 by 24. Uh, and looking at the pieces, you may have noticed I'm not just working with, I'm not just playing with paint, I'm playing with the light. It's reflected in the paint. Um, light kind of fascinates me on a lot of levels, um, and, and it has a, its own parameter. Light is the cosmic speed limit. It's also a substrate in what, how we see the world, how we view the world. Uh, oh, this this one is was a, the first uh, multiple I did. It's a triptych, and where I am affects largely how the work happens. Um, this was uh, my first residency that I did, and it, it's like I look at it and I can, I, I can feel the space. Um, this is uh, called Night Leaves, 1969, sort of an homage to uh, Louise Nelson. So, um, this is. Thames, this is actually for my second residency. This is two triptychs. The, uh, this is 
one of the only pieces I used a reference for. The bottom and the top line are the south and north shores of the Thames River as it winds through London. Um, and I, I did this there, and that was, uh, that was in uh, September 2011. And um, this piece is called a bomb-proof anchor. Um, and this one I actually uh, was working on during uh, September 11th. And I, I only bring that up. I, I, the thing that I used to do uh, to support my work was I used to be a New York firefighter. I took the test today right at our school. And a bomb-proof anchor <coughs> is something both climbers and uh, uh, rescue workers use this term. It's what if you have to tie off and you're going to go down a rope on the side of the building for a rescue, you have to find a bomb-proof anchor. And you want you want something that's not going to fall, you know, break off. And my bomb-proof anchor, you know, after that whole experience was, uh, you know, it was my, my friends, my good friends, my family, and that was like the thing that kept me from falling off the edge. So, um, this one is, uh, this is, I, I did a, a number of small pieces here, and this one and the, the series after the number, they're called Scroll Horn. I was in the market here in Omaha, and there was this guy selling me this box, just this empty, just a box on an empty table, and it said squirrel corn for 75 cents. And I said, what's squirrel corn? And he said, well, it's what you feed the squirrels so they don't eat your garden. I had never heard of it, and I kind of loved it. Uh, so, and, I, and like I said, I, uh, I do, I feel like the work is very affected by the space and I, I, where, I, where I work, and I, uh, I kind of wanted to name it something that had to do with Omaha for me, something that I'd never heard of that I'll, you know, I'll, I'll always take with me. So that's where these came from. And these are little nine by nine pieces. And this series, which is similar, uh, is called Numinous. I'm using a larger brush on these to get these effects. I mean, these are all nine by nine inches. Numinous means that there's some sort of uh, presence or some sort of feeling of identity. Um, and these, now that these pieces um, coming up are. The other pieces are really, these are affected hugely by the space that I've been able to work in here in Venus. I work in a small space back in New York, space is very expensive. This year I've been given tremendous space and um, the, the work is, uh, that's, this is probably top to bottom maybe 40 inches. Um, this one is about eight feet uh, by four. This one's a little smaller, that's about three feet by two. This one's five feet by five and a half. This one's a quiet ocean. This one's called distant thunder. This one's called the dirty parts of heaven. I just slide you with that. This one's called I can look at you forever. And another side view. This one's called fully involved. And that's all I have to show you. Thank you.
maybe like, and there's sort of a little bit of a reference to this, but it would feel like a vinyl record. Thank you very much. Thank you. 